Hello everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making a choco flan. A choco flan is a combination of flan and chocolate cake together. And who doesn't love both, right? These are definitely two of my favorite. So take a seat and let's get started with this delicious recipe. We're going to start out by making the chocolate part of the cake. We're going to cream one cup of butter, which is two sticks of regular butter, and one cup of sugar. And we're going to mix it until it's nice and creamy. Now we're going to add one and a half tablespoons of baking soda, half a teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, three eggs, and we're going to mix. And once it's well mixed, we're going to add half a cup of regular coffee. It doesn't have to be warm. And then we're going to add one cup of cocoa and one and a half cups of flour and we're going to mix it up and once it's well mixed we're going to set it aside now we're going to get started with the caramel for the flan in a medium saucepan over medium heat i'm going to add in three fourths of a cup of sugar once it heats up, make sure you stir constantly because it will stick and it'll start to crystallize at first then it'll start to melt like you see. And once all the sugar is melted, we no longer see any white pieces remaining. We're gonna quickly pour it into our mold that we set aside. And once we have it all in there, we're gonna tip it slightly, just enough so it covers the entire bottom of the mold. Now we're going to set this aside and prepare the flan mixture. In a separate bowl, we're going to add one can of evaporated milk, two teaspoons of vanilla, one can of condensed milk. And once we have it all in there, we're going to add in our eggs. We're going to add a total of seven eggs. Now we're going to mix. Now that it's done, we're going to pour it into the mold over the caramel. Now we're going to pour in our cake mixture, but before we do that, we're going to spray the edges with cooking spray or baking spray. Make sure you get the middle section as well. When adding the cake mixture, you might want to scoop it in a little bit at a time with a spoon. I'm scooping it in there with my spatula, which wasn't the best idea, but I like to do things the hard way. And I'm going to move the mold a little bit just so we can have an even layer on top. Now 
once we have it all in there it doesn't look very even right now but we're gonna spread it out with our spatula very gently make sure you don't press down on it because we want the cake layer to be laying on top it may seem like it may not work at the time that you're making it but believe me it's gonna turn out great once it's all spread out we're gonna take a piece of aluminum paper we're gonna spray it with baking spray or vegetable spray and we're gonna flip it over right on top and we're gonna seal it nice and tight your oven should be preheated to 350 degrees now it's ready for the oven I already have a water bath ready with hot water and we're going to place it in the water bath and we're going to bake it in the oven for about an hour and we're going to come back and check on it. It's been about an hour and 10 minutes now so now I'm going to very carefully remove the aluminum. From what I can see it looks like it's all done so I'm just going to continue to remove the aluminum. Ow! Don't burn yourself, please, like I did. Be very careful. And look at that, it looks beautiful. So now we're gonna remove it from the oven. And we're gonna let it cool down for about 15 minutes or until the pan is nice and cool so we can handle it. Now that the pan is nice and cool, we're gonna take a butter knife and we're gonna gently slide it around the edge of the cake just to get any pieces that may be stuck to the pan that way when we flip it over it won't break our cake and once we're done with that we're going to take a plate that's big enough to cover the entire bottom of the or the top of the pan and very gently and carefully we're going to flip it over just like that and we're going to set it down and very gently we're going to lift off the mold and there is our choco flan now we're going to chill it in the refrigerator for about an hour it's been about an hour now and now we finally get to enjoy a piece of this delicious choco flan this was the longest hour of my life the first time I made a choco flan, I felt a little weird pouring the chocolate cake over the flan. I thought to myself, this is not going to work, but look at it. It turns out perfect. Just an even amount of flan and cake. I hope you give this recipe a try, and if you do, tag me and let me know how it came out. It's been so much fun making this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, Give me a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my page, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to share with your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching.